hello guys yo what's up and now since we have the uh, dependencies for a project and uh, I would like to add the annotation for the hibernate and here you see I have the hibernate annotations so this is going to be to enable us to be able to use the the annotation on our uh, Pojo class and if you remember we wrote this class last time and this is prisoner class and this prisoner class has these few attributes uh, prisoner ID the first name last name and the the year so what I'm going to do now add the annotations um, and these annotations are going to help help us to to uh, create the table on the database we don't have to care about creating a database table and all that so and what you do what you have to do so that this t uh, prisoner table to be created you have to type the annotation that's called entity entity and immediately when you hover over it then it should give you the uh, it should give you the import entity and its Java X persistence and this is going to be to enable us to create this table and also here on the ID we need to put the annotation uh, that is called ID and also we need another the column and uh, control shift or then you organize the inputs then you get this inputs here and then we also we can make this ID as a uh, auto generated if you has uh, you have some little idea about how to create a database or tables so you understand the ID should be auto generated instead of you creating the ID then you let the database do that for you so we use annotation to do that so you have to type uh, Jenny rated value and uh, the strategy the strategy it should be equal to um, generation type and dot auto the calculator so Jenny, it should be Jenny. Generation type. So you import this, and also the generated value you should import it as well. So now we are good to go. And uh, on the prisoner first name, then we also have to give uh, this just a column. And, the, and normally you can just give the column name, but I'm I'm not going to do that here. But I'm just going to uh, uh, to just type the annotation that say column, and this is all about the column on the on the on the database. So you can just give the column name, whatever you like. But so, and also here we can just put the column. This is column. You see, and uh, and then before we we do anything else we have to do some little configuration on, on the hibernate hibernate.cfg.xml i have just created this file here on your resources you should see where you added the log4j so you should add the hibernate.cfg.xml and uh, what we are going to write here is going to be the hibernate configuration so you just type hibernate this is just the duration that comes with when you create the XML file so you should write all this first so that uh, this encoding so that the, the the XML should understand what is this all about so you should write this the first doc type Hibernate mapping public and so I just wrote it in, uh, earlier because I don't want to you to be like watching me typing this which is not so necessary so 
now I'm going to type the hibernate configuration hibernate configuration and uh, here we need to type the uh, session factory session factory and uh, within session factory then this is where I'm going to put the mapping class and the class is going to be this prisoner here because we have added these annotations so we have to tell this configuration uh, where that class is so and that is going to be mapping mapping class which is equal to uh, com dot you can either uh, write it by its easiest way is to go to where you have added this class which is on our model and just right click and copy qualified name and then you paste this qualified name here and now you have to change this from you can start from com here you don't have to write the whole path and you don't need dot java and also you have to remove this to dot because this is just a, a package name where the class is just locate into that class and uh, you close this the mapping class and then you you save so now we have the uh, the two configuration uh, configurations that we have this this um, this Pojo class has annotations and we have done the configuration so so thank you guys for watching and next time we'll be talking more about the we'll be discussing more about the controller and uh, the services thank you very much guys and remember subscribe and like and bye